Hunter Biden loses another laptop with video of him chatting up a hooker. My dad's running for president. Yep. <laughs> Thank you to Broadigan uh, of Louder with Crowder who wrote this uh, article. Hunter Biden, <laughs> son of the most popular president ever, has, dr has a drug problem. He also has a hooker problem, a racism problem as well. But on top of all that, he has a losing laptops with incriminating evidence on them problem. The Daily Mail exclusively obtained a third missing laptop. I didn't even know there was a third. I only know about the one from last year and this one. Um, it includes video of him talking uh, talking with a hooker post-coitus where he shared a story about one of the other computers he lost on a bender. The video takes place in 2019 when his father, Joe Biden, the former vice president, was running for president. And as you can see, YouTube tried to memory hole that video. Mm-hmm. Thank God for BitChute. See, my this thing about Hunter Biden fucking uh, fucking up again. <laughs> and look, look at look at the guy. Look at the guy. His proportions are like way off. I know. He's like, I don't know. His arms are too fucking thin. He's a fucking weird guy. Yeah, it's yeah. it's God, man. He just well, I mean, he just let the fucking video speak for itself, dude. So anyway, and they kicked everybody out, okay? Yeah. And they had clean just got tire plates. Small tits. Right? Yeah. Nice ass. Just from the blur. And I woke up. Anyway, doesn't matter. I agree. I was thinking the same thing when I watched the video earlier. <laughs> but why the hell is he taping this stuff? He taped everything, apparently. He loved to ha tape himself having sex with hookers. She refused to leave. She refused to leave, and they wouldn't call anybody. I'm going to pull this back a little bit, because uh, look at this. Uh, look at what he what he talks about the the yep. the left that's projecting look at this mm -hmm. and there was this 30 this russian 35 year old russian yep. russian yep the b f fucking <sighs> russia yep for fuck's sake yeah but it's the republicans who are all tied up with russia yeah i know right mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> no one's sleep check to see if i'm breathing and i finally like Showed signs of breath. At first, I wasn't breathing. I was even walking like, face down for like, I don't know how long. <clears throat> anyway, my computer, like taking tons of like, um, like just left the, like that cam on. He would always put them. He had like like passcode and all that shit. You know what I mean? And it was like, I mean, like, crazy. Shit. And somebody stole them like, during that period of time. And he, like, he did like this kind of pretend search. Watch, you're gonna hear one of them light up the crack pipe here in a second. He's the one that don't like computer. I think the three of them, the three guys, that were like a little like group. I did there it was. Two guys. Like, I took them everywhere. I mean, I was fucking crazy. She was fucking like, everywhere. Crazy out of the And I think when I did that, I did it basically. For context, he's regaling this hooker a story of a time that he nearly died because he drowned in a fucking because he almost drowned in a pool while on a crack binge in Russia when uh, while he was banging this 35 year old Russian chick while and uh, some fucking Russian gangster showed up. And we're fucking with him and stole his laptop. Yep. And he's recording all of it, despite the fact that this has happened to him at least twice before. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like twice before, is it like his laptop being stolen? Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. They have videos of me doing crazy. They have videos of me doing crazy. How long ago did this happen? You said before you met him. Sooner, yeah. So it would have been out already, you think? No, no, no. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, yeah. He was. He was. He was. I've talked about both of them. Say, like, octaval, so it would be the way. And then have some of the, like, two.
and make a gazillion dollars. So you try to blackmail me? No, I make like a gazillion dollars. No, but he had to be Oh, God. Yep, and he's here. He's talking about all the fat stacks that he makes. Yeah, Glad to see with Daddy Biden, the big guy. I mean, holy shit! This guy is a fucking nightmare, man. Like, he has got to be the most, em like, embarrassing kind of fucking, like, this is like the worst kind of son to have if you're, if you're a politician. Just not, just not only, like, dumb, but also arrogant. So mm -hmm. a arrogant that he believes he's com completely immune from punishment to the point that he'll literally brag about his escapades to his hookers and record himself doing it. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember um, Trump Jr. talking about it, right? Man. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> where he's like, imagine if I did this, like, there would be non-stop coverage of it, and I'd be, you know, condemned. Yeah. And, the yeah, it's like the worst thing Don Jr. ever did was, was the, said some things about terrorists that the fucking lefties don't like. He, he, he analogy, I, I remember the, I remember the first time I remember the left getting super butt hurt at, uh, Don Jr. was him, the whole bag of Skittles analogy that like imagine you go to buy a bag of skittles and the bag of skittles they say that uh there's a you know one one bag of one skittle in this bag of skittles is poison if you eat it it'll kill you but the mm -hmm. rest are, but the rest are fine would you really yep. buy the bag of skittles would you take that chance and i just remember the left losing their shit over it mm. it's like it makes a fair point <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like, if you know one is guaranteed to be, you know, poisoned, you know, what's the chance that, you know, that poison fucking, you know, rubs off on the others as well? It's like, <laughs> I'm not about to take that chance, dude. Fuck that. Exactly, yeah. Brought again, brought again said, like, uh, but, ju but even judging by drug addict standards, the lack of intelligence it takes you to bang a hooker, record yourself banging said hooker, then tell the hooker my dad is running for president, should be marveled at and studied. And then he lost the laptop. That included this video of him regaling the hooker with all the other times he lost computers while high on drugs. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. Having pudding for a brain must be hereditary. Either that or Hunter was jealous that Bo was always daddy's favorite and wanted to sabotage Biden's presidential dreams. Grossly underestimating just how much the media was willing to bury and cover up just to get rid of Trump. Mm. Why not both? <laughs> Why not both? Why not both? Like... Oh, God. How old is Hunter now, by the way? Uh, let's find out. Forty-something? Fifty-something? Fifty-one. Fifty-one. He's fifty-one? Yep. Looks like shit, too. Yeah, it's just he's 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 ridiculous. He's awful. Like it's just the whole Biden family is awful. It turns out. Why is it always fucking lefties? Why are lefties always the worst? They're just always the worst fucking people. Like the worst thing anybody can say about Rush Limbaugh, for instance. I mean, he's not a politician, but the worst thing that anyone could say about Rush Limbaugh is that he had a drug problem. You know, the worst thing yeah. anyone could say about. Fucking um, what about Mitch McConnell. Well, M Mitch McConnell is fucking. He's something else. Cocaine, Mitch. Yeah. 
Cocaine Mitch. Cocaine Mitch. Yeah, but like the worst thing you could say about like uh, Ted Cruz, for instance, is he went on vacation while the rest of Texas was uh, was under a rolling Burning. was under a rolling blackout. Or uh, yep. So it's like, what what's the worst thing you could say about Andrew Cuomo? What's the worst thing? Murdered you could, grandparents. Yeah. What's <laughs> the worst thing you could say about Joe and Hunter Biden? You know, what's the worst thing you could say about Kamala Harris? Like, it's awful. Mm-hmm. These people are terrible. I just, I don't, I don't understand why they have support for anything. Like, the Gibbs obviously is the driving factor of why Dems are popular in any meaningful ways because stupid people like Gibbs. But these people are so evil. I don't get how the how like do, are the Gibbs so important? Are the Gibbs that important that these are the people you vote for? 